How's it going guys? Hope everyone had a good 4th of July. Um, the pile of crap and the tall grass right over in there. Yeah, I had a few drinks and had me a fire last night. So, that was a pretty good 4th of July. So, I was wanting to do one about how I upgraded my rain barrels a little bit because a lot of people who have gardens, it's really difficult to use city water because they chlorinate it and that's actually part of why we started doing rain barrels to begin with was the chlorine was actually killing everything. Our neighbors watered the lawn and it would kill the grass. They had so much chlorine in it. Now we have a whole house filtration system. There's not chlorine in it anymore. Well, at least not that registers. But we still like to use rainwater. So, the way I built all these, I built them modular so that if I want, I can shut this off, I can completely drain it, I can remove this barrel, or I can, you know, do something with the middle one. If it starts leaking from a valve, I can shut it off from the valves on either side and then I can drain it, replace it, or I can just eliminate it and bypass it with a new piece of hose. But it also makes it easy to add in new barrels as you go. You don't have to drain it. You don't have to redo the entire system. Like due to being right by the power box, this one's pretty much it. I don't think I'm gonna get more than 200 gallons right here. I like this system, I like that it's modular, I can move it around if I need to, but this is not cheap. These valves right here are about 20 bucks a piece. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, I've got over $200 just in the valves right here let alone buying a hose to cut up to go in between them all plus all the hose repair pieces to go on the ends of what I make but it's not cheap but I like it it works this barrel on the end I moved from the other side of the house earlier today because the biggest problem we've been having is the barrels are all over here next to the house. The garden is over there. Watering is a bit tricky. You know, I've got a couple of pieces of PVC and a couple of the beds over there. And I would, you know, use these hose he hoses here and hook them up to the open valves or available valves and then use those, but it's still not convenient. And watering can is also not convenient. I mean, you get a decent amount of flow out of these. I'm not worried about wasting water right now because we have a tropical storm coming. I don't care. It'll refill all these. But another problem you can run into, especially on the first one right here, is mosquitoes. I have a very easy remedy for that. Let me see if I can see him. I'm going to try to zoom in. between the glare on the water and oh, there he is you can kind of see him right underneath where my hand is that is one of those little 15 cent you know about yay big 15 cent feeder goldfish from PetSmart that thing's now the width of my hand maybe a little bit more I've never fed it it eats algae and mosquito larvae. So that's one way to keep the mosquitoes down. I never see mosquito larvae in my beginning barrels where the downspout flows into. But back to the original thing because I get sidetracked so much. How do we get water from here over there? And I was watching YouTube today. And so I just randomly clicked on a video with someone using uh, gray water and rain collection all in the same go. And you started talking about pumps. And then it clicked. And 
I know for a fact that these pumps work pretty well. We use these at work. We use them to drain off roofs and low spots when we're working. So, I had this barrel on the other side of the house. I cut it off from the rest of the system that's over there, hooked the hose up to it, and started draining it. I needed this one because it's the only one I had left that still had a lid. I needed something to feed a hose through and a wire through, and that sump pump is down in there. So, it does have to prime like the first time, but it's submerged, so it should stay primed. Yeah, leave it like that. So, all you gotta do... This is so much fun one-handed. Plug it in. And that'll turn it on. Grab the nice new hose I bought. And we can water the entire garden and we get decent pressure out of this with that pump. I also want to unplug it before I go too far because I don't want to burn the motor out without it being able to go anywhere. I need to replace this outlet soon. But that was just an idea of a possible way to work on a shit um, rain harvest system and still be able to water the garden easily. Now that, this is the south side of the house right here. So it is possible I could hook up a post with some solar or mount it to the side of the house um, a solar panel and a car battery to be able to power this thing so all we have to do is click it on now that was not cheap that pump was another hundred bucks the hose I got a heavy-duty construction like contractor grade hose that was about 30 bucks. The extension cord I bought was another 25, 30 bucks. The wand for the end of the hose was about another 10 bucks, somewhere around there. All in all, I swiped my Home Depot credit card for $165 and change. But if this, you know, it works. I was, ho I'm still thinking I might be able to rig that hose up to go into some PVC and possibly be able to water the entire garden with just plug in, unplug in the um, outlet. Wrong way. If I can do that, then I can hook it up to a timer. Set the timer to run for two or three, you know, two minutes, maybe three or four times a day and that'll keep everything nice and damp but not too damp but that would take a lot of testing and see exactly how much I can push you know if I can only get half of the beds here I don't know that I'm going to want to try to automate it that much because it would still involve having to come out and you know trip side to side or something like that unless I got a different timer set up which would divert water from one point to another point but then having two timers set up that both have to be going at the same time it would take a lot of figuring wow 10 minutes hmm. but um that's the update on the rain barrel system um, I'm going to try to get this nice hose hanging out here looking all ugly tucked back behind and probably come out down here going in between these most likely and straight out 
that way it's not such an eyesore but hopefully y'all got some ideas for this um, I was really impressed with myself <laughs> Oh, I thought sump pump and within three minutes I had an idea exactly what I needed to do, how I needed to do it, and it worked. But thanks anybody for watching and hopefully I'll be posting up some more soon.